Hey guys and welcome back to Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. I'm Dustin and today we're going to do a fun recipe. I'm going to take all these fresh ingredients right here and make the best smoked salsa that you'll ever taste. So it's really simple to do. It takes about two hours and I guarantee you it'll be the hit of the party anytime you bring it out. So let's get to it. All right guys, so right here are the fresh ingredients we're working with today. We got a clove, we've got a, a bundle of garlic there. We're gonna use about four or five cloves of it. We got two limes, mainly because they're kind of on the smaller side. We're just gonna use the juices out of that. We've got some jalapenos. We've got, well, I've got four jalapenos. Uh, we've got some cilantro. We got six Roma tomatoes. We got a sweet Vidalia onion. And we got some little cherry tomatoes here we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and get everything sliced up and prepared and uh, the last thing I want to do is kind of controversial to me I whenever I make salsa I never peel or DC my tomatoes but I've talked to a few people and they said man you got to do it you got to you, you just got to peel your tomatoes you got to de them I think it's a little extra work for nothing but we're gonna do that today and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it so first let's go ahead and get all this stuff done and I'll save those tomatoes for last all right so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this sweet onion. I'm going to chop off that end there. Flip around and chop off that end right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut them up in quarters. We're just going to do a slice down the middle. And then we're going to go ahead, when we're at this stage, and peel off that, that top layer. There we go. I'm just going to cut it down the center again. All right, so we got our onions out. Put all this away here in just a second. Now, for the jalapenos. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the top off of it and just cut it right down the center. And that's that. I want mine a little on the spicy side. I want a little heat to it, so I'm not going to take the seeds out. I'm going to leave them in, the stem and the seeds. Uh, now, if you don't want a very hot kick to it, go ahead and take those seeds out because that's what makes it hot. That, that's what gives it that nice little heat. So, but I like hot salsa. So we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to cut it and go down the middle with it. And the reason we're going to go ahead and cut it down the middle instead of just smoking them whole is I want to get that smoke way on down in there. I want to get as much surface area to smoke and accept smoke that I can. So that right there is gonna allow smoke to get all inside that same thing with the onions. It's gonna allow the smoke to get all inside that thing. Just give it a great smoky flavor. All right, for the garlic, I'm just gonna chop this back end off right here. Like that, and we're just gonna break it out. Uh oh, and I'm probably gonna use, like I said, about five or six cloves of, uh, of the garlic. Making all sorts of a mess right here. But anyhow. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we might use a little bit more than that. I like garlic. So I guess that you can just put it down to a person, personable, person, what's the word, Brandon? Personal. Personable preference. All right, so I'm just gonna use, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've got nine cloves right here. I'm going to go ahead and go with it. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to smash them with the knife. And all that does is just make it a whole lot easier to peel out. There we go. So I'm just going to get these. I'm going to peel them out. Just lay them out here on the side. Okay, got my garlic cut up here. And we're just going to use, I don't know, I'll say a handful of these, about five or six of these smaller cherry tomatoes. Get them rolling there. There we go. And we're just going to cut these in halves. That's all we're going to do with this. And just for the same reason why we're doing the onions, we just want to give it as much surface area to get down there and get that smoke in there. Give it that good smoky taste we're looking for for this uh, salsa. Gotcha. All right. 
right, so we got our tomatoes cut up, we got our jalapenos cut up, we got our onion cut up, our garlics out there. We're gonna do the, we're gonna save the lime and the cilantro for later. And next step, we're guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna peel these, uh, peel these tomatoes. Be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, so I had to come in the kitchen to do this one. We got some water, we got it simmering right now. It's not quite boiling yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this knife, make this a light cut on one of these uh, tomatoes. And we're just gonna throw it in here for about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds until that skin kind of starts pulling away. And once it does, we're gonna take her out and we'll peel it up. All right, it's been in here about 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and take it out here. And you can see <clears throat> how, the, ah, ooh, it's hot. how the skin has started to pull back from it. So from here, Look how easy that is. You just run your finger across it, that thing peels right off. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna dip it down in this little ice bath here to keep that thing from cooking all the way through. We just wanted to get that peel off. Pull it down a little bit and just like that, we got us a peeled tomato. So from here, what I'm gonna do and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this thing long ways. And see those seeds right there? You can either just squeeze it and some of those seeds will come out, but I don't want to squeeze it and waste too much juice. So I'm just going to scrape out as many seeds as I can get to. And then they'll be ready for the smoker. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of the six I've got, or the rest of the five remaining ones I've got. Then I'll see you outside. All right, guys, got some flies out here. Hey, so you can see right here, I've got my six Roma tomatoes seeded and peeled. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start placing them on the jerky rack here. I've got, there's still some seeds in there, but I got most of them out. There we go, we're just gonna place them and fit them in there. I have to say, they're looking pretty good. This was my mom's idea, actually. I've made salsa before, but I've never, I've never uh, peeled them. <clears throat> I've never seeded them before, but she said, try that. And she said, it'll be amazing. Well, I tried it. So if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, we all know whose fault it is. So I've got the little cherry tomatoes here. We're gonna go ahead and put seed side, or not seed side, but well, I guess it kind of is seed side, but we're gonna put it skin side down. We're gonna fit them in there. We're gonna have to get our onions here. We're gonna slide them in. Well, that one broke up. That'll be all right. Now we're gonna get our jalapenos. Slide them all on here. Just like that. And we got our cloves of garlic. place on there. All right, now the lime and the cilantro, that's going to be for afterwards. So this is our, this is looking pretty good, guys. I have, I, I think this is going to turn out great. What I've got going on, I've got it, well, it's at 225, but I'm wanting it around 200 degrees. 225 is all right. It'll, it'll, uh, I'm going to close off some of the bits and drop it down just a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead and put these in here for about two hours. Well, first, I need to, there it is. Before I do that, I've got a little bit of olive oil. I'm just going to kind of drizzle over the onions, the jalapenos, everything. Well, well, about everything here. I'm just going to throw the sun to it. There we go. Now we're good to go. Uh, I'm using pecan wood on this one. I don't want hickory or uh, mesquite because this takes uh, these kind of uh, vegetables and everything. They'll take on smoke really, really good. So I just want a mild smoke, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this pecan. I think it's gonna taste great. I think it's the right, right choice for this. And I've got about four or five chunks of it down there sitting on my coals. So yeah, guys, let's get it on there. Take it off, we'll look at it, see how it looks. 
We'll get it all blended up together and make the best salsa you'll ever taste. See you here in a minute. All right, guys, it has been two hours. Let's go over here and check this out. It's been running at 200 degrees, and my gosh, would you look at that? Let me see that camera for a second. Man, I'm telling you what, just as nice as you, I could have imagined it, man. Look at the color that that garlic's got. Man, that garlic has gotten soft. Those onions have took on a nice, oh, that's going to be great. All right. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and bring this bad boy on over here. Ooh, it's still hot to these gloves. And we are ready, guys, to throw them in this blender. So what we're going to do, we're just going to toss the onion in. Just toss everything in. The jalapenos, all oh, these onions, everything's so soft. It's The smoker has really done its job. And guys, I'm telling you what, the smell... <laughs> That smell is awesome. So this is going to be, I believe, an absolutely amazing salsa. left in it. We're just going to dump it all down in there. We ain't going to waste nothing. All right. So, now I've got a whole bundle of cilantro, but I don't want to use the whole thing. I just want to probably take about half of it. Maybe just a little bit more than half. We're just going to throw it in there too. We'll get that all mixed in. Go ahead and get the limes out. Now these are kind of small limes, so I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze the juice. Oh, yes. I don't know, that's quite a bit of juice in these guys, but we're still going to go with two of them because I really like that lime twang whenever I eat my sauce. We're just going to put two limes oh yeah here we go and next we're gonna have to get some salt but I forgot to bring it out here so I'll be right back all right guys so I've got some sea salt here and I'm just gonna probably put about a tablespoon of this and what we can do is we can taste it when we're done and we can add more to add more to it if we need to and I'm going to put just about the same amount of black pepper here. So we're just going to go ahead and go about another tablespoon of it. All right. Now I've got a teaspoon of sugar. That's a heaping teaspoon of sugar. We're going to just throw a little bit in there to mix in with that sweet. And we're going to throw about a half of a, well, about a whole teaspoon or maybe, maybe a little bit. Got a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna throw, oops, there we go, just a little bit over. We're gonna throw that in. What this apple cider vinegar and sugar is gonna do is it's really gonna fight that heat that those jalapenos are gonna put off and it should blend to make a great tasting salsa. The, the flavor profile should be amazing. So we got all of our ingredients in there. This so is what we need to do now. Just get the lid on. All right guys, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pulse it a couple times. Oops, wrong way. We're going to go ahead and pulse it a couple times. Get everything nice and ground up. consistency we're looking for. I'm going to hit it just a little bit more. I want it just a little bit finer. Man, I'm telling you what, that smell that's coming out of this right here. Oh my God, this 
see what we got going on here. Hung around the top and we did anyhow. Look at that guys. You see that right there? That looks like a great consistency for an amazing salsa. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get it out in the bowl. We're gonna give it a try. All right guys, I got a bowl out here. Let's go ahead and take this thing on out. All right, here we go. Let's dump her down in the bowl. Would you look at that consistency? That is exactly what we were shooting for. All right, man, that looks so good. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give it a try. It's gonna be hot. And I will say this, what you need to do is if you've got time to do it before you even dig into this, go ahead and put it in a jar, put it in the refrigerator, get that nice, get it nice and cold. Eat it the next day, it's going to get better because as it sits in that refrigerator, all those flavors are going to kind of join up and marry together to create just the best flavor profile. But this is going to be good too, so we're going to try it. All right, would you look at that, how cream, oh man, get a nice bite of it. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. Man, you automatically get that pecan wood smoke. It's not overpowering. It's just right. It's just that mild smoke, and that's what we was looking for. We didn't want a big overpowering hickory or mesquite. But if you do like smoke, like, like a huge amount of smoke, go for hickory. Go for mesquite. You can make this your own. You can add onions, take away onions. If you don't want it so hot, you can take away some jalapenos. This is a hot recipe. This, this has got a good little kick to it. Uh, I think it's really, really good. The flavor is great. So I'm very, very pleased with it. So like I said, just take this recipe, make it your own, add a little bit, take away a little bit, but stick to this profile and you're not gonna be disappointed. The flavor is there, the smoke flavor is there, and uh, I honestly couldn't be happier. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in a jar, stick it in the refrigerator, and tomorrow we're gonna make some good tacos and we're gonna enjoy it. And uh, I'm excited about it. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you got any comments, let them, be sure to leave them down in there. If you're not subscribed to me, be sure to subscribe, share the video, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.